hello everyone welcome back to another theatre vlog tonight i'm off to the wyndham's theatre to see a showcase performance of a show called the mother life pretty sure it's the mother life i'm always paranoid that i'm getting it wrong i was sent an email by nick in australia who watches my videos and also is part of the um, australian website theatre people saying that there were free tickets for this show uh, so thank you nick you are the reason that I'm going to the show tonight and uh, the show's got Natasha J Barnes who I saw in Funny Girl last year and Laura Pitt Pulford who I've seen in uh, Nell Gwynn recently and also in The Light Princess a few years ago. Uh, phenomenal actresses and I'm super excited to see them in this show. There's also two other actresses that I've not heard of so I'm really intrigued as to how this show is going to be, what's it going to be like, how they're going to do it and obviously I wanted to take you guys along with me so I hope you enjoy. It is the interval of the mother life now and I've just come outside for some questionably fresh London air. I'm really enjoying it so far. The story is quite like the story. It's basically about four women and obviously it's called the mother life so it's all somehow connected to them either being mothers or just like women in times of change in life. So Natasha J Barnes is playing a girl who is wanting to get married and finally the guy proposes um, so it's about like her wedding um, about um, Laura Pickleford is playing a really career driven woman who suddenly finds out she's pregnant like from a one night stand so that's her situation and then the other two characters who I've still not looked at the actresses names I will film the program and obviously like let you know um, but they're playing mothers one of them runs a cafe slash restaurant I think um, so that's her like She's having issues with her marriage basically and then the other woman is a mother of three so that's a challenge i'm sure um so yeah some of the most of the songs like are just really lovely songs they're quite funny um there have been some more like emotional ballady type songs i wouldn't really call them ballads still but you know a bit more serious songs sorry about this motorbike you're always showing off um but yeah i mean the the women are amazing the the, the voices are just incredible um so yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's a good audience as well. Sorry, that's really loud. Um, yeah, it's a good audience. I don't think the theatre's full, um, but it's a good, it's nice to have um, a showcase in an environment like this, because obviously the tickets were free and if you found the website link or if someone told you about it, you could obviously just get tickets. You didn't have to be anyone special. You just had to book a ticket. That was all. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really gutted because um, Sean was meant to come with me and then he couldn't and then I asked some other friends as well and no one could come with me. I wish someone could come and like see this with me because it's going to be really hard to talk to friends about it because obviously it's new, like no one will know about it. So that's the only shame but no, I'm really enjoying it. Welcome back to the chatty section of the video. So it's been a few days now since I saw The Mother Life, the showcase production of it at the Wyndham's Theatre and obviously I wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about it. So this show, as I mentioned earlier on in the vlog, it was brought to my attention by Nick who works at Theatre People Australia. So thank you very much Nick, uh, I'm sure you'll be watching. Thanks for letting me know about this show. The showcase was free to go to, which is always nice as I mentioned earlier on in the vlog. Got a of a freebie. I'd read a little bit about the show before going into it just out of like curiosity when uh, when Nick sent me the link to to just see what it was about and and then I saw the casting and I thought yep yeah, okay definitely got to be here because this show had um, Natasha J Barnes and Laura Pitt Pulford who I both of them I've seen in a few things and 
they are brilliant so I was like well okay good book that then alongside Natasha and Laura we had Nikki Aitken and Anita Louise Coom Coom not sure how to say her surname so it was just the four of them throughout the show which made for an interesting dynamic because obviously there were technically other characters involved but they weren't there in physical form they were more you imagined them in a sense and there were like some uh like sound effects and things like that to um to suggest like the children and such that sounds weird but you know they weren't on stage they were just audio <laughs> obviously this show is called the mother life and it was as you would expect primarily a show about um, motherhood and this group of four friends that are growing up and well not growing up because most of them apart from uh, Natasha's character uh, Jessie they're pretty much in full-on adulthood so it's about them tackling just normal real life issues and getting through it as like a friendship group which was really nice it was really interesting in this show because there were like different levels of um not maturity as such, but different levels of motherhood and real life on display. So for example, um, Nikki's character, Beck, she was a mother of three sort of younger children. And then Anita's character, Lily, she was a mother to kids that were now going into university. Uh, Kate, who was very career focused and um, not intending to uh, be in motherhood as quickly as she ended up being. And then Jessie, who was at the very beginning of it all, like she was at the top of the show, just so excited about her boyfriend proposing. That was her main focus. It was more on the marriage. So it was a really fun dynamic to watch all of these different characters. The structure of the show and the kind of um, continuous theme throughout was that they all met on a Friday for lunch at the cafe that Lily owned. So that was a really nice um, storyline structure and that you knew every time that this was their Friday lunch time and it helped to like, you knew where you were in the timeline of things, especially for example, with Kate, played by Laura Pulford, who was pregnant, you could see that really progressing quite quickly because you were jumping ahead a week kind of each time. I thought that act two, like so much happened, I think personally in act two. Um, and a lot of act one felt quite samey in a sense. This is just obviously in my opinion. Um, and this is just a showcase production. So I know that there are like tweaks and stuff to be made like for the actresses, they have script in hand and that's fine because that's what you expect from a showcase production. Um, but yeah, I felt like act one, it just, it did, it didn't drag, but it just felt like sort of the similar things were happening with each scene. Act two really handled some, nitty gritty uh topics um i don't want to be uh too spoilery but motherhood isn't of, i mean i'm not a mother so i can't speak from personal experience but motherhood it's not like f all fun and games and i think that's quite an apparent thing to say because obviously there are trials and tribulations of motherhood but you don't often see them expressed in um in musicals so to see that portrayed on stage and to really feel a lot of raw emotions um, from Laura Pitpulver playing Kate, that was, it really kind of, it shook me up. Like it was really emotional to watch. And I can imagine that, f that this show is definitely going to have more of an impact obviously on women who are mothers or, I mean, it probably affect parents in general. I'm not trying to like generalize it, it's just, uh, just for females, but I feel like, obviously, if you're a mother, the topics in this show and the moments and the experiences that are reflected, they are going to impact you more purely because they will resonate with you more. Saying that though, even just as someone who obviously has friends and family that are parents and mothers, duh, it still hit me, like all the funny bits still made me laugh as well, because even though I can't personally relate, uh, it's funny to watch those things on stage. This was especially from um, the character of Beck. She had so many comedic moments and sometimes they were a tiny bit too much. I felt like they could have dialed down a couple of moments, but overall it was 
really funny. It was just a very real and honest show and I appreciated that. It's, it wasn't trying to like make things all sugary and say that it's lovely, but at the same time, it wasn't just saying like, this is the worst thing ever, if you know what I mean. There's a nice healthy balance of um, of everything. I'm really intrigued about the future of this show. I'm definitely going to be keeping tabs on it to see where it goes because as I mentioned at some point in the video, I believe this did a small Australian tour and obviously now they've done the showcase productions here. So it seems to be in the process of just kind of gathering as much feedback as possible. I will link their website below, obviously, if you want to find out more about the show. I don't believe they've got any of the songs or anything online. If, um, if there are, I'll try and link them. If you happen to be at the showcase day as well, I'd love to know your thoughts on the show and share your opinions in the comments below. It's always nice to go to a showcase production. It feels very special to know that you're one of the, f not few, but you know, one of the small group out of the big group of people that we're in to have seen this show um, in its first sort of stages. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me in the future. I make a lot of theatre content so if you enjoy theatre then hopefully you will enjoy my videos. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you very soon. Bye!